Well, Boeing's first manned Starliner 1 mission to the International Space Station is set to launch tonight. CTV's Tony Grace is live with more on this. Tony, there has been a lot of anticipation of this launch. After years of delays and stumbles, Boeing has really had some issues here. So why are they so encouraged for today? Yeah, absolutely, Nick. Look, uh, 2019 and 2022, there were test flights of the Starliner. They did not go well. There were software problems. There were equipment problems. Now they're at the point where they say they are ready for the first crewed mission into space, for the first crewed test flight, as it's being called. So there will be two... Um, veteran astronauts, retired Navy captains, Suni Williams and Butch Wilmore, who will be in the Starliner spacecraft. The window opens at 1034 Eastern tonight for launch, and if it's successful, it would take about 26 hours to get there. They'd be going there for about two weeks and then coming back. You know, look, NASA has, of course, turned to private companies to shuttle mm -hmm. astronauts to and from the space station ever since the shuttle program ended in 2011. SpaceX has already been doing it. Boeing has got uh, a lot on the line here as it, as it tries to ensure that this one is a success. And, uh, you know, perhaps in a, in a fortuitous... Uh, uh, kind of uh, development, uh, Nick, it was uh, Saturday, May the 4th, Star Wars Day, mm -hmm. when they rolled the rocket out to the launch pad at Cape Canaveral. So, yeah, a lot riding on this. Uh, uh, but, you know, the, the astronauts themselves acknowledge that, too. They say, sure, Boeing has had its problems, but we are the QA, the quality control. Our eyes are on the spacecraft. So, yeah, a lot riding on this uh, tonight, Nick, in more ways than one. Yeah, no kidding. So about 13 hours in from potential uh, opening of the mm -hmm. launch po uh, period. In the meantime, Canada has a proud history of helping out in space as well, Tony. So tell us more about the Canadian connection to today's launch. Yeah, a direct Canadian connection, Nick. Astronaut Joshua Kutrick from Fort Saskatchewan, Alberta, is going to be at Mission Control in Houston. He's going to be the capsule communicator. So just imagine this. It's his job to make sure that communication is relayed accurately and quickly from Mission Control to the astronauts, back and forth. And it's also his job to make sure that nothing's misinterpreted, uh, you know, in the event of, of any communication uh, misunderstandings. It's, it's his job to sort that out, deal with emergencies promptly and swiftly. He says he's grateful to have been trusted with this position. He's excited to see the spaceship fly, uh, as he should be, Nick, because he will be part of the next Starliner mission in 2025, or one that will happen no earlier than 2025, I should say, he, mm. Kutrick, is scheduled to spend six months at the ISS getting there with the Starliner. So okay. we'll see what happens tonight, and of course, a lot riding on this for the future as well. Yeah, there really is. Okay, we'll see how the Starliner does uh, later on tonight. Tony Grace from CTV, always appreciate this, Tony. Thanks so much. Thanks, Nick.